Hi friends! Today we are talking to the fake IRS. Come inside and let's play with our new friends. Thank you for calling Internal Revenue Service. How may I help you? Yes, I got a voicemail saying that I was going to be arrested in the next 24 hours. Yes, sir. That's regarding your, what they say. There is an arrest warrant has been issued against your name. For what? I'll tell you, wait. Thank you for calling Internal Revenue Service. How can I help you? Yes, I'm returning your all's call. Something about a tax evasion? Yes, you have reached to IRS department. My name is Officer Edward Brown and my badge ID number is GC6265. GC6265? Sorry, G as in got, S as in same. Oh, okay. And what was your name again? All right. My name is Officer Edward Brown. Edward Brown. Okay. All right. And I am speaking with? My name is Frank. Your name is Frank and your last name is? Albertson. Is it correct? Albertson. Is it correct? Is what correct? Your last name and your first name. My first name is Frank and my last name is Albertson. And uh, 631 is your number, yes, contact sir. number, right? Yes, sir. And your name is, uh, sorry, can you please repeat once again your name? Frank, F-R-A-N-K. Oh, all right, all right. That's my first name. Do you need my last name? No problem. Uh, can you please uh, verify me last four digit of your social security number and your date of birth? So I can pull out your file. Last four digits is 1127. And my birthday is January it's, 18th. It's 1127, right? Yes. Is it correct? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure the last four because digits of my social security number are 1127. All right because this is our recorded line, all right? Okay. Okay, your social security number is 1127, Seven. right? Yes. All right, wait a moment, I will pull out your file. Okay. All right. Take a pen and paper in your hand, so I will provide you some information, and you have to write down. I have a pencil, can I use a pencil, is that all right? No problem. Okay. You have to write it down. Okay. You ready with pen and paper? Yes, sir. All right. Write it down my name. My name is Officer Edward Brown and my Hello. Hello. Yes, you're writing? Yes, Edward Brown. Yes. And my badge ID number is GS6265 GS6265 You got it? Yes Okay, so I will go ahead and read out your legal charges against your name But I uh, but before I go ahead and read out your legal charges against your name You don't have to interrupt me I will provide you a fair ti time to speak, alright? Okay so now, as per documentation, we had conducted an audit under your name. I'm sorry, how did, you, right? how did you spell your last name? E as in Edward. I mean, your last name. I know your first name is Edward. How did you spell oh, your so, last name? Sorry. Sorry. B as in Bet. Okay. R as in Ron. Okay. O as an orange. Okay. W as in a wax. As in wax? Okay. Yes. M as in a Nancy. Okay. You got it? Yes, like the color brown. Okay. All right. Yes, like the color brown, right? Okay. 
All right, uh, give me a moment. I am transferring this call to my senior supervisor. All right? Okay. All right. Don't hang up the call. He will assist you further. Okay. Your call has been transferred to the senior supervisor. This is Officer Apollyon. Whom am I speaking with? Uh, my name is Frank Albertson. What did you say your name was? My name is Apo, A-A-P-O. A-P-P-A-O? My batch ID is 4736. Is it just 4736 or is it GS4736? GS4736, sir. Okay. Yep. Why did I get transferred? What was wrong with Edward? I don't know. He just transferred this call to me. Okay. It's with Carl. Good suit, Carl. Got him, got him. Yeah, there is a case filed against your name. Have you noted down? First of all, note down my name and the batch ID. Yeah, I got the GS4736. Could you spell your name again, please? Yes. My name is Apollyon, A as an Alpha, A as an Alpha, P as an Papa, O as an Oscar. Okay. Apollyon is my last name, L E O N. Oh, okay. okay. That sounds French. Are you French? I am Spanish, but uh, this is the recordable line. I cannot, like, speak Spanish in this recordable line. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are you Spanish? No, I just. I just like I just like Spanish names and French names, and I thought that was neat. Okay, all right. Okay, so I will go ahead and read out the legal charges against your name. But before I go ahead and read out the charges, do not interrupt me. I will provide you a fair time to speak here. Okay. Okay. So now, as per the documentation, we had conducted an audit under your name, and we had found that the tax which you have filed under your name for the year. 2012 to 16 it was miscalculated under your name so according to section 101 this amount is still outstanding under your name that you have not paid for the reason local authority with the arrest warrant will come at your place they will cancel your driving license your social security as well as the lien on your bank account so, uh, and you will also face federal imprisonment up to five years now the total money which is outstanding under your name do you, do you know the amount how much is outstanding under your name yeah edward told me it was about 163 dollars how much 163 dollars no it's seven thousand one hundred and sixty three dollars well seven thousand one hundred and sixty three he left off uh, kind of an important number there so just seven thousand one hundred and sixty three dollars even Yes. For what year Which was it? Which is that? outstanding on It's from year 2012 to 16. So there was. Uh, the, was I'm not talking about specified all those years. Maybe it could be 2012. These are the miscalculations. You know, like this is not sure that for all those years. Or maybe it could be 2012. Maybe you're it not, could be 2014. You're not sure that I owe this money? You owe this money, like there, like no, this is you are not owed this money. But maybe some miscalculation I have done from our side. Maybe your CPA have done it. We just need to know. That's why I'm like cooperate with us so we can resolve this matter. Okay. Yeah. So this includes your pending tax, legal charges, and late fees too. Now you have two legal options. As I can see, there is no criminal record under your name. Oh, if you want to fight this case into the courthouse, then you will be arrested within 25 to 45 minutes and you will be presented into the courthouse tomorrow morning. And the case might cost you into the court like $45,000 to $55,000, like as in law fee, paperwork, bail charges. It may cost you that much round off, as well as you will face federal imprisonment up into the jail up to 5 years. And if you want to resolve this matter outside the courthouse, then we are here to help you out in this matter. So now, what is your intention? You want to resolve this matter or you want to fight this case into the courthouse? But you just told me a few minutes ago that you weren't sure if it was my fault or the IRS's fault that there was a miscalculation. Not. This is not This is not our fault, okay? You just uh, said, yeah, you just said that you weren't sure that it wasn't. No. 
listen to me the arrest warrant is issued on your name so we need to cancel this warrant okay and you will get all these funds back so once I cancel this arrest I warrant then all this is over with then no. can you if I if I if I give you a chance to rectify the situation, will you be able to pay this seven thousand one hundred sixty-three dollars? I don't have seven thousand one hundred sixty-three dollars on me today. No. How much you get to cancel this arrest warrant? Well, I mean, I've only got about three thousand dollars. Three thousand dollars. Right. Let me talk to the department and let me catch you back. Okay. Be on the line. Okay. Hello. Hello. Yes. Well, well, we are, you can pay to cancel this arrest warrant. You can pay three thousand dollars to cancel the arrest warrant, and as soon as you will, it will be verified that you are not in fault. Okay. So uh, you will be getting this three thousand dollars back within in one hour. So can I just? I mean, how do I pay? Do so I just go down to the IRS office? Yes, you can just reach through the IRS office. Okay. Know where you need to go? Well, I don't know where the IRS office is, but I can find it on Google, I'm pretty sure. And I just take, go down there and I pay them the right. $3,000? Yes. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. Yep. All right. right. Well, all right. Well, thank you. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Yep. I don't know what the heck was going on there. I guess when I said I had three thousand, was three thousand dollars too much for them? Do they not want three thousand dollars? I have no idea. Thanks for stopping by the lab. Please subscribe or share this video with your friends or family.